what's going on YouTube today I'm here to show you how to fix this coolant leak on this 2014 Cadillac ATS it's leaking from this overflow hose this seems to be a pretty common problem I've probably replaced about two or three of these in the last couple years this engine only has 44,000 miles on it if that lets you know anything and that's what happens whenever they make these parts out of plastic if you notice right here it's cracked over time it just gets brittle and they crack. You got a lot of heat running through there and a lot of pressure too. Personally I think they should have made this hose out of metal but you know that costs too much to manufacture so and they can't sell parts that way either. Fortunately this parts only about 25 bucks and it's readily available. I think I got this one from uh, Napa. They keep them in stock and it's a genuine GM, GM part so and if you can't get it from your local parts store you can always call the dealership. They charge, probably charge a little bit more, but either way, you still have to do it because the new engine, when you overheat, it's a lot more expensive than a rubber hose. And this one will probably last about 30 or 40,000 miles as well. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Enough talk, let's get started. Now, when doing this, you always want to make sure that the engine's completely cooled down. Because even though this has been leaking, it will still hold a little bit of pressure. And it's enough to burn you. And you don't want to get burnt. Because it doesn't feel good. I've had it happen. So here we go. Now what I always do when I get these new hoses is I don't reuse these clamps. I get aftermarket screw clamps. But when you use these, you have to be careful not to tighten them too tight. Because one, you can crack the bottle. And where it bolts are connects to the radiator right there. You can crack the radiator, and this cha that changes the whole game if you crack the radiator, because this is not an easy radiator to do. And where it hooks to the intake underneath this cover, that's metal, so you don't have to be as careful, but you can bend metal too. So, first thing you're going to do is take your oil cap off. You want a T30 Torx bit socket. Pull this cover off. Are up. Just gonna do is just put my little funnel under there. Notice it connects to a metal pipe right here. Let's go ahead and take that clamp off. Needle nose pliers works great for this. Pull that clamp back. Twist your hose to break the seal. Being careful because you can bend that. And if you bend it and make it out around, this hose won't seal up good. But we really need to be careful that it's right here on the bottle. Because it's plastic. You don't want to crack that bottle. Because that's just more money. Even though eventually that's going to crack too because it's plastic. But right now it's not cracked. It's not leaking. We're not going to mess with it. And this is where you really need to be careful. Where it connects to the radiator. Luckily this car's only got 40 some thousand miles on it. So it's not that brittle yet. But I've broken these nipples off before. And when you break that nipple off, there's no going back. you got to replace the radiator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slip our little clamp over it. Push that on there. Now you'll have to bend this tab up. That way it gives you clearance. These, now these hose clamps are a quarter inch socket. Some of them are 7 millimeter. But the ones I got are quarter inch. Wrong socket. And I like to go ahead and, because these are a little bigger than what I need, I'll run them down a little bit to make it closer to the size that I need. Go ahead and slip it over that hose. Push it all the way over the radiator. Now you're going to want to put the screw head to the right because you put it to the left it's going to hit that little tab. Now this is where you got to be careful. Go ahead and tighten that. Just till you start seeing it pinch the hose and you can't spin the hose no more. Same with the bottle. Just like that. Run this clamp down some. Slide 
slide that over. And like I said, you don't have to be as careful on here, but if you tighten these clamps too much, they won't work. They'll strip out. And wouldn't you know it, my tools always want to fall. And my hog ring is worn out on this gun. I need to replace that hog ring. You can replace those hog rings. They're kind of a bitch to put on, but part of my French. Or sometimes your local tool guy will do it for you. Let him do the work. He sold you the tool. Okay, it's nice and tight. Let's go down. Like that. All right, now put your cover back down. And of course that o-ring is going to sit there and come out on There we go. Try not to drop my socket because I don't want to lose my socket. And put your oil cap back on. Now if you haven't invested in one of these no spill funnels, I suggest you do if you do a lot of coolant work. Because they'll let you uh, bleed a system out without spilling coin everywhere. Just a little blue fitting here. And GMs, most GMs use that fitting. Screw it down, make sure it's not going to spin. Put all my other adapters to the side. And you can just start filling her up. And as the engine runs, this funnel, the level, I'll, I'll keep it about halfway full for a good 20 or 30 minutes until the temperature gauge and everything looks normal and the thermostat opens. But the thing about this funnel is it sits higher than the cooling system, so it allows all the trapped air bubbles to come up. Now when you get that full, you just want to start the vehicle up and the water pump and everything will start drawing the coolant in. Like I said, run it for about a good 20 or 30 minutes until the engine's warmed up. A good indicator is turn the heater on. If the heater's blowing hot, it's probably bled out all the way. And if you don't see no more bubbles coming out of that funnel. Anyways, I'm going to finish this job up. Customer's waiting, so I don't want to uh, take too long. So I'm doing this outside too. It's kind of hot. Anyways, please uh, check like. Please subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.